Welcome to the Salty Podcast, the only podcast in Blacklight Retribution that tells the truth all the time. Um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about some more balanced stuff. I've been I've been talking about this game and <clears throat> its balance issues, and we're going to continue that theme with this episode. And we're going to talk about a weapon that everyone forgot about the moment it got released with the parody patch. It's called the Light Recon Rifle. Um, <clears throat> and when it first came out, the general consensus was that, okay, this this weapon's kind of interesting. None of us really understand it. And then soon after that, everyone kind of agreed that it was underpowered to the point of being useless. <clears throat> I'm here to answer the question of why. Why is the light recon rifle underpowered? I'm not just going to go along with the masses and say, yeah, it's underpowered because it's hard to use. Oh, hard memes, bro. And move on. I'm going to go into the statistics and prove to you why it's such a bad weapon. Um, and it's pretty glaringly bad, to be honest. And for... Um, for conveniences, for my convenience, and for the sake of this video not being more complex than it needs to be, I'll be comparing it to the default assault rifle. I'll be comparing the light, the default light recon rifle to the default assault rifle, and I'll be comparing the statistics, and I'll show you why the light recon rifle is outgunned very, very, very hardcore, because the default assault rifle is the default gun that you start the game with. Therefore, it's kind of the... It's kind of like the, the, the starting point, the base, the baseline. It's where you start in the game, so everything needs to be compared to it. It's the default. This is all common sense, and that's why you come, and that's why you listen to this podcast, because it's common sense knowledge about blacklight retribution, life, love, happiness, and sugar and spice and everything nice. That's what we talk about here, and that's what matters. Um, let's dive right in. So the Light Recon Rifle, we're going to be going through the statistics and I'm just going to be comparing them like a true scrub lord. Um, so, let's look at the damage and fire rate. It has 55 damage and it has 600 fire rate. Now I need to make something very clear. 600, that is if you are tapping as fast as this gun can humanly be operated at. I mean, you've got to be tapping extremely fast for it to actually hit 600 fire rate. And it has 55 damage. Let's go to the assault rifle. So, we see that it does 5 more damage for the sake of 50 fire rate. And the fact that you're not going to be hitting 600 anyway unless you're an extremely fast tapper, in which case you're either extremely inaccurate or you're like part robot and you somehow tap as fast as humanly possible to max out the fire rate and you're accurate no one can do that that's why no one can use the light recon rifle oh but how can people use the combat rifle the combat rifle is actually balanced so we get five damage for a for a slower fire rate okay Moving on, <clears throat> ammo, 15 and 60, meaning 15 bullets in the default clip and 60 total uh, before you have to buy ammo or use an ammo pod. Um, so assault rifle, we're already seeing other than the fire rate because that's a given because it's a semi-automatic weapon. We're already seeing a huge glaring thing here. 30 and 120. The assault rifle has way more ammo. In fact, double in a clip. Now, it should be that way. Because of the fact that the assault rifle is an automatic weapon. So it's going to be going through the bullets faster. But all you're, all you're sacrificing for double the ammo in one clip is 5 damage. 
Okay, so we're already seeing big issues in the light recon rifle. And it also has double ammo before you have to use an ammo pot or buy an ammo refill. I, I mention ammo pots because of competitive gameplay. Because in competitive gameplay, for those of you scrub lords that don't know, um, the depots are not allowed in competitive gameplay. So you either use an ammo pot or you pick up a weapon, or you're just you switch to your secondary if you're out of ammo you're out of ammo okay so the reload time on the light recon rifle is 2.33 it actually has a pretty good reload time honestly it feels pretty comfortable to me but the assault rifle has a reload of 2.4 okay so it's a little bit faster than the than the assault rifle okay but that's to balance out the fact that it's not a fully automatic weapon and honestly, 0 0.07 seconds is not a lot. Like, you're not really going to notice that at all. Both guns have good reload. Like, that's just kind of... I would call that a tie. I wouldn't really say that the light recon rifle... That's not like a huge strength to have it reload 0 0.077. I'm sorry, 0 0.07 seconds faster. That's that's a meme, guys. Um, that doesn't actually matter. It's, it's such a small amount that you're not going to notice, really. Um, so the swap rates are the same, which I think is actually universal. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but I'm not actually sure on that, so don't quote me on it. But we are not caring about the other guns right now. I don't want to go off on a rant, even though this is kind of a rant. But we're not talking about the other weapons. Anyway, the swap rate, that just means when you're using your secondary and you're swapping two... Your primary or vice versa that's how fast it is it's i don't know it's the swap rates in this game are actually pretty slow honestly compared to a game like csgo where it's like almost instantaneous <clears throat> now kiddos here's where the true memes come into play the spread this is pretty much what puts the light recon rifle out of business among many other things, but the spread is really, really important. So let's look at the aim and hip spread first. We'll go two, we'll go two at a time. Aim and hip spread. Light recon rifle has 1.03 and 2.58. Keep those numbers in your head, pause the video, write them down, do whatever you need to do. 1.03 and 2.58. The default assault rifle, ladies and gentlemen, 0.8 and 2.29. Have I proven my point yet, guys? I mean, do I even need to continue? I, I'm going to continue to, to, to make this a full video. A full experience. Where you can really dig deep into these statistics with me. But that sells it. Because aiming and hip spread are the two most important spreads. That's when you are not moving and you're aiming down your sights or you're firing from your hip. The default assault rifle sacrifices 5 damage, but is fully automatic, and has better... I'm sorry, I'm on the light recon rifle right now. The assault rifle sacrifices 5 damage, but is actually fully automatic, has double the ammo, and it has better aim and hip spread. Significantly. Having a one, the hip spread, the, the I'm sorry, the aim spread on the light recon rifle is 1.03. It's over one by default. And from my video explaining the anti-material rifle to you guys, you know how important aim spread is. That is insane, guys. The fire rate, you're not going to hit 600. Ignore this number. I don't I don't know how to measure how fast you would actually be able to go. But then you have to take in con into consideration the faster you're firing, the more recoil is affecting you and the harder it is to aim. So this gun is very very slow, obviously. You fire probably in two or three round bursts. Okay.
That's really bad for a default gun, taking into consideration that this fire rate isn't the real number. But you get five more damage, really. So, one of the biggest things that people have said about the light recon rifle, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say people. I've had discussions in private with with friends in real life, and and online friends about this gun. And essentially, the damage doesn't justify any of this. It needs to be doing way more damage to justify all the horrible other stats, and then. It would, if it did like 70 damage or something huge like that, then it would almost be balanced. I'm not a game developer, so don't rage in the comments about truly salty 70 damage, I'd be so overpowered. But it needs to do more damage, that's all I know. Okay? I can understand the slow fire rate, okay? There, there's a place for weapons like this. But when you're doing that little damage, with this much spread, uh, it's bad. This gun cannot be used. But uh, let's finish up the, the statistics and let's go even deeper. Uh, let's talk about the move and recoil, the move spread and the recoil. 4.15 move spread, 3.85 recoil on the default assault rifle. 3.42 move spread and 5.20 recoil. What do those numbers mean? Truly salty? Well, I'll tell you, my little scrub lords. Okay, it does have better move spread, and, and actually by a significant amount. But the move spread is kind of in the same ballpark as the aim and the hip. So, it's pretty bad but it's better than the default assault rifle to make up for the fact that it's a semi-automatic weapon but it it doesn't again i don't want to keep repeating myself but it's not enough it's not enough to make this gun good but yes it does have better move spread but here is the kicker it has a lot more recoil 5.20 on the light recon rifle default compared to the default assault rifle having 3.85 so let's go deeper I've said that so many times. The default assault rifle sacrifices a mere 5 damage to have a fire rate of 650, to have double the ammo, to have the same reload, and to have better aim spread, better hip spread, worse move spread, but way better recoil. And in, the, in, in this post parity patch where recoil is non-existent anyway, at least for the guns that w existed pre-parity. My point is already continuing to be proven by these statistics. Because, listen, kind of the recoil number here is kind of a placeholder. 3.85, that doesn't really mean anything. Because it would have been the same, that, that number would have been the same pre-parity as it is now post-parity. But guns that weren't, that didn't exist before parity, are affected differently by that placeholder statistic, which we call recoil. So this 5.20 is actually not exactly, but it's closer to how recoil would have interacted with the gun pre-parity. So this actually has like a lot of kick. So to justify this kick, and to, and to justify these horrible spreads... It needs to do more damage, otherwise it will not be de uh, it will not be balanced. Now here's the issue: if Hard Two Labs puts too much damage on it, and then it's all people use, and people are running around the map, hip firing, two hitting people with this stupid gun, then that's the problem. So if they do patch this gun, which they need to. Hopefully they do it right and actually make it uh, a viable weapon. But let's continue with the statistics and go a bit deeper, ladies and gentlemen. The zoom doesn't matter, that's just based on the scope. The scope and time also really doesn't matter. And, and the run speed doesn't matter either because that's based on your armor build. But here's the final statistic that really, really puts the final nail in the coffin. So the default assault rifle has the range of 70 and 110. 
I'm uh, I am actually not completely sure about this, but I think that means hip fire and aim. Yeah, aiming downsides. That's the those that's the two values and what they mean. So seventy excuse me, and hundred and ten. Are you guys ready to see this number? The range forty five and eighty. You would think for a sniping weapon like this, where it's similar to the combat rifle and the fact that uh, it's going to be used at longer ranges because it's not a, a fully automatic weapon, it's a semi-automatic, you would think they would give it a better range than the default gun. But the default gun is fully automatic and has like, what, double the range? Let's check 45 and 80 compared to 70 and 110. It's almost double the range and it's fully automatic. So let's go through all the statistics one last time so I can prove my point. The default assault rifle sacrifices 5 damage for all of these things. It's fully automatic, has a great fire rate of 650, it has double the ammo, has the same reload speed same swap rate better aim spread better hip spread considerably okay not just by a little but considerably S worse move spread for sure but the fact that it has way better recoil nullifies the move spread we're ignoring we're ignoring zoom and scope in because that's based on your scope it has almost double the range we're ignoring run speed because that's based on your armor build. Double the range on a fully automatic weapon. I try to give Hard Suit Labs the benefit of the doubt. But really, what were they thinking when they made this weapon? I think this episode has gone a little bit too long, but I hope I've proved my point. Some some player was, was on the servers recently and they were saying, wow, this light recon rifle is actually pretty good, and they were like asking for builds. And like, I was pretty much just ignoring the person because at that point you just can't be taught. They were probably someone who had played and then come back months later to see all these new changes to the game. And you just can't teach someone like that. All I said was, nah, the LRR is a meme. And he kept asking match after match, oh, guys, like, you know, what, what are builds for this gun? And some people were trying to help him. <laughs> but uh, some people cannot be taught, um, sadly. Thank you so much for tuning in to the finest podcast in Blacklight Retribution. Uh, next time I'll teach you how to get good <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching thanks for tuning in I love you so much and I hope to catch you on the very next episode stay creamy now turn up